I got the Philadelphia 76ers taking on the Milwaukee Bucks this Thursday, February the 17th. I got a free pick coming your way. I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and we are now brought to you by BetMGM. You guys want to check out the description of this video to find the link to BetMGM. For all new accounts, they're going to give you a $1,000 risk-free bet. And if you drop $10 on an NBA game, and either team scores a three-point shot in that game, they're going to put another 200 into your account. Bet MGM wants you to make some money with them, so don't miss out on this killer promo. With me today, I've got expert handicapper Sean Higgs from Winning Free Picks. What's up with the get-down, Higgs? Not much little NBA heading into All-Star Weekend, so uh, let's try to churn out a little winner, a little bankroll for that and I guess we got to go with the uh, over in the uh, all-star game here. Whenever oh, 100%. Is. There's no other way to take it. Let me ask you real quick before we get started. These pre-games before all-star break, I know a lot of starters are going to be sitting to get ready. Is there any tips that you could give to uh, our viewers? Just tread lightly or any tips pre-all-star break for that? Yeah, obviously, um, like this game we're talking about here. You got guys like Harden. I'm thinking, hey, he's playing. I'm thinking he's going to play against the Celtics because he just wants to get out of out of Brooklyn. You know, No, right. he's really sitting out. So this is a nice spot teams could just rest up. And, you know, we do these videos the night before. Obviously, anybody watching this knows these are pre-recorded, and it's hard enough at 6 o'clock game night to know who's suiting up. Uh, days before All-Star weekend, who knows, guys are checking out. I'm going to take an extra day off. You know, why, why bother? Who cares? I, I don't know. It's, it is what it is, the NBA. And that's all regular season. You have to worry about that. Yeah. So, you know, you just follow a, a beat reporter for a team. If you want to get down, I, you know, I pick and choose my NBA, NBA in a year. Uh, I got 30 games, 18 and 12, 60%. That's it. I'm, you know, and in college basketball, I got 300 games for the season because <laughs> I know guys are going to show up and play every day. NBA. Yep. I don't know until, Literally 10 minutes before tip off, who's playing? So, yep, tread lightly. We know there's, all the time there's, not, NBA. there's not egos involved, there's not that start sit. There's a, yeah, it's a whole no, different thing in college hoops. Much no less load management, time. no load management games. No, no, yep. no, that's just it. Okay, so we're talking Philadelphia 76ers recently acquiring James Harden against the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks are minus six and a half at home, totals 223. Lay it on me, Higgs. Who you liking here? Yeah, normally this would be like, let's get on a Sixers here, right? You lose by 48, you're going to come out and be like, we're not that bad. But you know what? Uh, yeah, I think they are that bad. Uh, you know, Harden's not playing. It's Embiid and who? Harris? Everybody else on this team is a role player. I mean, who is on this team? What What, what are they – this is a game – I why, why I wouldn't even be shocked if, if Embiid doesn't play today going into the All-Star weekend. That's uh, – this is just not a, a good team right now. They traded away their depth. They They're – their backups, they're starting guys who should be on the bench playing 10 minutes. They're playing 27 minutes. Give me Milwaukee to roll. I, I'm not going to be shocked at a one uh, something identical, 127 to 100. I can see Philly getting run out again here by 20, 25 plus points. And even when Harden comes to town, is, is this – I'm not sold on this Philly team one bit. So I think they're going to take their lumps again. Normally after a 48-point loss – you kind of say, you know what, we're better than that. I don't see it here. Not with this bunch of guys. Give me Milwaukee. I'll lay it here at home. Uh, Double-digit win should be in the bag. Definitely Milwaukee first half here. Definitely Milwaukee. Is Giannis playing in the All-Star? Is he going to play this game? I think he'll play because it's a home game before, you know, he, he's not going to sit out. You know, and, plus right, so that's fair. and this is a team they've beat up before, you know, so even the guys who are coming in, they're going to want to play. It's a home game for them. Home, I think everybody's going to want to come in and play before the break. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a spot where you're on the road like, ah, let's just get out of here and, you know, get away. From, guys not going to the All-Star game. Hey, we're going to take a trip to the islands or Disney World. I don't know where to go. You know, anywhere but the Northeast, you know, Philly. Who wants to be in Philly in, in February? Yeah. I don't. I do not. No offense, Philly. But, I, yeah, I'll see you in June, you know. <laughs> um, I do kind of like Harden on this 76ers team, though. I mean, I think, you know, it's a guy who doesn't play a lot on the Sixers and Ben Simmons and a guy who doesn't play a lot in Kyrie on the Nets and a guy who wants to play a lot in James Harden to go over to play with a guy who wants to play a lot in Embiid. I'm excited to think what – I'm cautiously optimistic, maybe, is the way to say this. Um, 
Let's see what happens. We know that at least Harden's not going to be in this game. So we're going to roll with the Bucks minus six and a half points here. Higgs, what do you have lined up over at picksandparlays.net for the rest of the week? I know you're kind of at the top of the leaderboard right now. You're kind of crushing things. So what do you have for the viewers if they want to buy your best bets? Well, I have the, um, usually I have a three-pack of college basketball up daily. Uh, sometimes it's a little more. That's, you know, If you want to get a, a three-day pass, usually works out better because I – put up more games than just a three. Three are my favorites of the day to put up there. Sometimes just one. Like on a Friday, there might be a you know, single play up as a package play, but there's other in if you're on a subscription. So college basketball is more my thing here. Again, NBA, I pick and choose my spots because uh, just the way it is. It's sometimes late information. You can put games in late, stuff like that. But really college basketball for now. And then we have conference tournaments starting up the, the March 4th. I'm excited about, and you know, hockey, we go right in hockey. We find our puck line winner. So, but college basketball folks, that's where I'm at every day. Three packs up. Yes. And Sean Higgs is a big dog better. Also, it's part of why he's at the top of the leaderboards because he takes plus money underdogs and plus points. And that's kind of the way to play it. If you're looking for value in college hoops, until you can check out Sean Higgs at Brittany. Oh, <laughs> edit. Until you can check out Sean Higgs. Nope. Let me say it again. So when you go to check out Sean Higgs at picksandparlays.net, don't forget to use the promo code BOWL. B-O-W-L. That's going to save you 20% off of all of his best bets, whether it's the one day or the three day or a week long or a month long subscription. Use the promo code BOWL. Until then, we are going to roll with the Milwaukee Bucks minus six and a half when they take on the 76ers on Thursday. Good luck.